which of the following crystal system has a maximum number of classes so triclinic has two classes monoclinic has three classes hexagonal has 12 classes isometric has five classes so hexagonal has the most or maximum number of classes which of the following statement true for hemiadal form as they belong to the same crystal class as the hollowedal form it is correct they have same indices as the hollowedal form it is incorrect they have half the number of faces as hollowedal form it is correct because a, a hemiadal form it contain half the number of faces of a hollowedal form for each hollowedal form there corresponds two hedral forms it is also incorrect there is no hedral form of hollowedal form so answer will be a C, no. They belong to same crystal system. It is correct. They have uh, same indices as hollowedal form. It is incorrect. They have half the number of faces of hollowedal form. It is correct. For each hollowedal form, that corresponds two hollowedal forms. It is also correct. Each hollowedal form has two hollowedal forms. It will be A C. But anthropolite, anthropolite is a amphibole. Pyrex is a garnet. Augite is a pyroxene. Pyrite is a mica. Answer will be two. Number of faces present in a hexoctagonal class. So in hexoctagonal class, it is belongs to isometric system normal class. So from hexoctagonal, you can say six into eight. So it contains forty number of faces. So waxian grizzly luster it is uh, exhibited by the so first thing diamond it shows adamantite luster quartz shows vitreous luster galena shows metallic luster so sulfur will show waxian grizzly luster so which of the following is non pure uh, from all these options moscovite is very weakly pure uh, you can say or non pure greek non pure is pure greek chlorated is pure greek and hypersine is also pure greek so answer will be Moscovite. So the diaphanity is a physical property of metal related to. So diaphanity it is uh, measure the uh, transmission of light to a material by which we can measure transparency, then translucency and opacity of a metal. So it will be transmission of light. Which is the following as the highest hardness. So according to hardness scale, most colorless scale. Corundum has hardness of 9. So, among all these minerals, Corundum has the highest hardness here. The camouflage type of ionic substitution that takes place in atomic habit. So, camouflage means he, another thing just look exactly alike. Two things will look exactly alike, that is camouflage. So, during atomic substitution, there is some rule where ionic radius and charge should be same for replacement. So if you consider two iron having same size and same valency or same radius and same valency, they can replace each other very easily. So that is a type of uh, called as camouflage uh, type of ionic substitution. I uh, have studied it in uh, gold cement. Uh, Substitution rule. So if they have same radius and same valency, then they can easily replace each other. You can also they call them as diadochi pair. So <coughs> that is a cam camouflage type of re uh, for a replacement or substitution. So I think radius can be considered up to 15 to up to 15 percent. If the difference between ionic radius is 15 percent, then also the substitution is free. And the charge difference should not exceed one. Those are some. <coughs> Which of the following is an oxide of titanium? So, ructile, brocade, and it is the polymorphs. Ructile, brocade, and it is the polymorphs. All have composition TiO2. Eliminate has a composition of FeO, TiO2. So, answer will be 
1118 the most common isotopic system used by petrologists for the age determination and to know the source of arc and magmatic uh, rock so basically in arc and magmatic rock we always uh, date the rock by using zircon because zircon is the oldest mineral and zircon contains always uranium so all the arc and rock they are dated by uh, through uranium thorium lead dating the oxidation potential is denoted by so what is oxidation potential it is the value that indicates the tendency of a chemical resistance to be oxidized or reduced we, we can say it is measure the metal ability to lose electrons so it is uh, represented by the symbol eh the b is for acidity t for pressure e for temperature transfer will be eh So glaucophen is the characteristic of. So glaucophen is the characteristic of blue species. Uh, you can find glaucophen, lawsonite. Then green species has a chloride, acrylate. There is no white sea species. And marble contains CaCO3, limestone. The core sandstone comprises of angular grains is called as. So angular grains meaning there is glaze transportation. There is glaze transportation meaning glaze uh, weathering. so it will considered as a immature sandstone so angularity of grains within sedimentary rock always indicates immaturity so it will be immature sandstone conglomerate has a rounded grain it will be incorrect the quartzite is very uh, it is a metamorphic rock it is not sandstone you can say the mature sandstone should have rounded grains <coughs> So the new metal that characterizes any particular zone of metamorphism. So any zone of metamorphism that started with the appearance of certain mineral, what we call index mineral. So any particular zone, it is bounded by two index mineral. So appearance of one index mineral and appearance of another. Suppose you say this is chloride zone. Then it is uh, started with the appearance of chloride uh, isograde or chloride mineral. And ended with the appearance of biotite mineral. So, the mineral that characterizes any particular zone of metamorphism it is termed as index mineral. Oxygenated mineral it is uh, grow during diagenesis. It is a new mineral that grow during diagen diagenesis. <coughs> Then allogenic mineral those are uh, drifted from uh, other basins. And heavy metal, which has high specific gravity. Statement one: Which petrology nature of oceanic lithosphere is greatly enhanced by studies of opalites? Because opalites, it is a part of oceanic crust that preserve on the continental part. The opalite are considered with a mass of oceanic crust and upper mantle that thrust onto the edge of continent. So during subduction or collision. The mass of part of the oceanic crust that thrust over the continent by a process called abduction. So here both the statement are true. This is a opalite sequence that consists of uh, pedotite, then layer pedotite, then layer gabbro, then gabbro, then cistite complex, then basaltic pillow lava, then deep sea sediments. So named as like this one layer one layer two a two b layer two c layer one layer two layer three layer four so layer two divided into three a part two a two b two c then layer three divided into two parts three a three b then there is layer four so East Coast bauxite deposit in India is formed by subaerial weathering of first thing uh, bauxite. it can form any type of rock it can form from any type of rock by weathering so uh, any type of rock can be a parent rock of bauxite so if we are talking east coast so there is a uh, eastern ghat movement belt which is region in kondalite so east coast bauxite deposition as a source from kondalite so hutti gold mine deposition so hutti gold mine deposition it is deposited in quartz veins deposition it is deposited at quartz vein 
जो तो फॉलोइंग मोर डिपोजिशन जनरली फॉर्म बाय मैग्मेटिक सेग्रीगेशन प्रोसेस तो फ्रॉम ऑल दिस टाइप ऑफ डिपोजिशन क्रोमाइट इज ऑलवेज फॉर्म बाय इग्नेस एक्टिविटी इट इज फॉर्म बाय अर्ली मैग्मेटिक डिपोजिशन बाय सेग्रीगेशन तो टेक द एग्जांपल ऑफ स्किन दा वेयर क्रोमाइट डिपोजिटेड बाय सेग्रीगेशन प्रोसेस सो द फॉलोइंग मेटल इज अ कार्बोनेट ऑफ हेमिन ऑल मिनरल हेयर इज कार्बोनेट कैल्शियम कैल्शियम सी एच यू 3 then rhodopsite mn co3 with red ba co3 acid red fe co3 natural b rhodopsite gypsum has lower density than anhydride it is correct because uh, gypsum uh, it has a formula, formula of ca so4 uh, to h2o anhydride is only ca so4 volume of the hydrated mineral are more than the volume of anhydrous mineral obviously volume of hydrated mineral which contain water it would have more volume than a, than the anhydrous mineral so if the volume is more then the formula of density is mass by volume so if volume is more the density will be less so that's why gypsum has lower density than anhydrite so both a and r true and r is the correct explanation for a छत्तीसगढ़ करेक्ट ऑप्शन सो ग्लोबिजरेबिलिटी जो फोरामिनिफेरा देन सिडारी सिटीजन एक एन आइडिया देन रिमेनिंग सिडिंग को पूरा ये देखो कोरल तो आंसर विल बी 1 तो इंडेक्स पोजीशन कैरेज बाय वाइड वाइड स्प्रेड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सो इंडेक्स पोजीशन इट इज एज अ डेफिनेशन ऑफ इट हैज वाइड ज्योग्राफिकल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन अ वेरी शॉर्ट टाइम रेंज सो हियर इंडेक्स पोजीशन कैरेज बाय वाइड स्प्रेड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इट इज करेक्ट index pusil are characterized by short range through time it is also correct so both the statement 1 and 2 are correct answer will be 1 which one of the following geological feature has the highest groundwater potential as the insel for pedmen those are formed in peni plains history which is very weathered condition so those are very suitable for the groundwater population so you can find very good groundwater storage uh, below peni plains Uh, area so in inflation area or the pediment is a very gentle sloping area in that area you find more ground water so pediment will be the answer but buried pediment it is already buried so the characteristic of pediment it will lose the characteristic of pediment so it will not percolate that much of water in cell for it is structure below that you will not get that much of uh, ground water but this valley fields it can be a buried valley so If it is a buried valley, then it it also has the maximum uh, groundwater potential. But as it is mentioned, only valley fills, so it will not be correct. So answer will be pediment zone. Snowflakes, uh, those are very porous. Uh, you can say ice mass. Those are produced by sublimation process. Ice crystal that resulting from sublimation. That is snowflakes. So accumulation of snowflakes produce glacier or you can say. Ice mass, granular rice, all these things are produced from snowflakes accumulation in a above you can see snow line. Let me also recall, snowflakes it is not formed by sublimation. Sublimation is not the process of formation of snowflakes because sublimation is something that a solid is completely converted to gases. So sorry, it is be incorrect. So it is actually ice crystal that fuse together, but they have very uh, higher porosity. That is called as a snowflakes. So it will actually answer will be ice crystal. They fuse together. In general, which of the following has the highest total porosity? Which the basalt granite will be discarded. In the anhydrite, it is dry. It is also discarded. In the shale, it has highest porosity. The endogenetic alluvium plains are rich in groundwater resources because where you get alluvial sand deposition, those are very 
good site of ground water deposition so it will be be true then the innovative plain alluvium from cadre thick alluvium then uh, for the perennial rivers are also uh, uh, follow or it passes through the alluvial fans so that's why innovative plain is very rich in or uh, ground water so it will be both a and r are true and r is the correct explanation of a with the hygroscopic water these are moisture around grain and particle then gravitational water obviously it is a water that flow under the influence of gravity then capillary water it is like is a, a ring of water around the pore space that is held by surface tension that is capillary water then intergranular water water held within a grain the answer will be one So the ground water flows from lower hydraulic head to regions of higher hydraulic head. Actually, it goes from higher hydraulic head to lower hydraulic head. So it will be incorrect. Then line joining points of equal hydraulic head are called for the equipotential surface. So equipotential line. So it is correct. So statement one is false. Statement two is true. Which of the following statement is false about landslide? So landslide can be caused by natural or man-made factors. Obviously, uh, it is can caused by volcano earthquake. It can cause by snow failure. All are natural causes or man-made factor. It is formed by by mining activity. It is formed by because of road construction, deforestation. All these can be caused by man-made. Landslides are due to snow failure. Obviously, it is formed by due to snow failure. Then rockfall is not a type of landslide. Rockfall is a type of mass twisting, but it is not a landslide. Here. Uh, the log of rock they will fall at a greater speed they will not slide along a surface so that's why they are not landslide then vegetation helps in uh, checking landslide so vegetation also helps in checking landslide but here the landslide it is also considered as in this question landslide is also considered as a mass twisting so that's why The oh, statement rockfall is not a type of landslide. It will be false. But actually, in some cases, landslide it is considered as mass twisting. But uh, actually, landslide, rockfall, or slide fall, then slide fall flow. The three types under mass twisting. so actually rockfall is not a type of actual landslide it is a fall but here you have to choose this option other options are absolutely correct so this can be incorrect so rockfall is not a type of landslide which of the following factor doesn't have a control on flooding so obviously pure rainfall intensity and duration jeta adhika rainfall hoga jeta adhika time constant hoga it will get more water and it will lead to flooding then topography obviously topography depends whether it is in plain land or it is in the, it is in higher uh, mountainous region that also determine the channel depth and that will determine the flooding condition then channel gradient the, if the greater channel gradient there will be more discharge if there will be more discharge then it will be more uh, if there will be more discharge then there will be less flood this side will be less then water will accumulate and the, that will produce flood so the plain land ram or basic discharge means that the water ta more flood condition ko adhik ho jaye the evaporation it doesn't affect the flooding condition so this will be the correct uh, this will be the cause or uh, option which will not control the flooding condition <coughs> So lahar, lahar is fast moving volcanic mud flow. The pyroclastic, these are fragment of hot rock. Chlorine is a toxic volcanic glass. Volcanic steam is ferritic eruption. The answer will be true. The so fossil fuel supply approximately eighty five to ninety percent of the global energy. It is correct. Fossil fuel supply is eighty five to ninety percent of the global energy. The nuclear power is considered as a conventional source of energy. Conventional is non-renewable source, so nuclear power is a non-renewable source of energy. 
So both the statement will be correct. So biosphere doesn't include the living beings that lie hidden way well out of the sight. So biosphere actually uh, it uh, it uh, include all the living beings. So whether it is hidden way well out of the sight or it is uh, on the surface, so it will be incorrect. In single cell photosynthesis organism driving the sunlit zone of the ocean generate about 80 percent of the atmosphere oxygen. It's correct. So statement one is false. Statement two is true. So marine trench is the deepest part of the ocean. The deepest part is Challenger Deep. So it is present uh, in Pacific Ocean. Which one of the following doesn't represent plate boundary? So the oceanic ridge, it is a divergent plate boundary. Oceanic range, it is a convergent plate boundary. Transform part is transform plate boundary. So the abyssal plane, it is deep sleep plane. It doesn't represent any plate boundary. So this will be correct one. Which one of the following hotspot is located in the Indian Ocean region? Indian Ocean, you will find the Reunion Hotspot and Kerguelen Hotspot. So, Kerguelen Hotspot is the cause for the volcanic, volcanism in the Rasmur Traps. Then, Galapagos and Tasmanian Hotspot is in the Pacific Plate. There is no Eastern Hotspot. Actually, the Eastern Hotspot in India it is indicating Eastern biodiversity or not. The internal structure of earth has been identified on the basis of so internal structure of the earth it is uh, calculated on the basis of indirect evidence so it is we always use seismological evidence so seismic wave are used to collect the data of the internal of the earth movement on and collision of plate account for the most of the earthquake and the volcano so during the subduction you will find all type of earthquake and during divergent plate boundary, you will find shallow focus earthquake. But that way, in slow spreading ridge, you will find shallow focus earthquake. In faster spreading ridge, you will not find any type of earthquake. The plate movement uh, it is caused by convection of earth's internal heat. So this heat is formed by convectional uh, convectional flow of lava, uh, sorry magma. And it is also Movement of plate also has two regions, uh, reach push, reach push and slab pull. That also two regions for the movement of plate. So reach push of slab pull, reach push away from divergent plate boundary, then slab pull away convergent plate boundary. That there are also the two regions for the plate movement, other than the convection. Convection theory to more appropriate to the slab pool and reach push. Then I convection to put a push, put a plate under the put a pra convection of water. So you need one convection under the one plate to prove the theory of convection. So that is not the case. There are multiple convection sets. So both A and R are true. R is the correct explanation of A. Among the given option one uh, represents the largest scale of geological mapping. The larger the number, the smaller the scale. Always remember the larger the number, the smaller the scale. The smaller the number, the larger the scale. So <coughs> large scale photography is one is to five thousand among these options. Four. Dispersion theory has no means. There is a, a absence of element like thing. A form an area on the uh, around the source. So it is you will study in the geochemist uh, geochemical exploration. When you see element with a particular source to displace it, you will see the concentration model. Suppose ki, uh, we will find the economic deposition. So if you find iron in some places, suppose there is a word bill, you will find iron in all You will find iron in all type of crust. In everywhere you will find iron. But the concentration of iron in word bill is more than other places. Because iron is concentrated there. So it is derived from the uh, area that is called as a source. So, source. So, so source process it is dispersion hollow screen way. Then element dispersion is caused by the natural process of outward moment of certain metallic element from the source. So what a particular source room or element or a transport key. For a particular area, the deposit was the concentrated one day, and they increase the economical value of that area. So, that's a certain metallic element.
So it will be on both A and R are true. So this, this person halo where metallic content will gradually decrease in that area. So a halo will form, then element will disperse from that region towards a region where it will deposit. So detectors used in seismic deflection survey. In seismic uh, method, we always use uh, geophones. Geophones are used to determine the seismic depths. Sonate, it is a type of uh, radio transmitter that is used to determine non-metallic deposition. Then uh, scintillation counter, it is for uh, uh, radioactive rays. The electrode, it is simply electrode. So answer will be geophone. Electrodes are used for uh, uh, electrical. So three rule diameter and three rule nomenclature. So this is the, you can say, different type of uh, drilling size and uh, their diameter. So the answer will be here, B. So the regional strike of Darwar uh, rocks are uh, north, north, west, south, south, east. So which of the following statement not true regarding Nipachan and Comity? Nipachan and Comity it is uh, in between Arcan and Protozoic boundary you can say. If separated lower Arcans from upper Protozoic it is correct. At places, uh, at places it is represented by conglomerate obviously it is an uncommunity so that it can be represented by conglomerate. So conglomerates are indicative of uncommunity. If separates the lower tricycle from upper tricycle it will be incorrect. So it is uh, visible at the same location along the contact between the Dharuvars and the Kalak. So it is also true. So this will be the false statement. It separates the lower tricycle from upper tricycle. Answer will be 3. Yeah. Which one of the following is the richest in plant person? So which plant procedure is uh, all the formations are given from Gondwana. So Radimash Pose Formation, Barakar Formation, Damana Formation, they all contain fossil. But Radimal Formation it has a volcanic formation. The Radimal trap. So volcanic formation doesn't contain type of you can say plant fossil or fossil something. So volcanic fossil or the very good. So mostly it will be Radimans. But Damura Formation that is not Damura group. Damura group under as a car. Barakar, Rhinigans, Egura Sugars. So it may be Rhinigans or Damura. So the conclusion to me. Which are the following is a plant fossil? So we say Gang of Paris, we found in Gondwana. The numulite it is foraminifera, two little like this, gastropod paradoxide it is trilobites. So which of the following is not true about the brachopod? They are extinct, they are not extinct yet, they are, present, they are still present. So it is the wrong statement. They are known to have existed since Cabaret, it is correct. They in terms of 100 general, uh, genera, general census. Is also correct. All are marine, obviously, those rice supports are exclusively marine. And so, answer will be one. The body of the it will see obviously different layers of soil. We select it. So, statement will be the answer of B. So, Statement one is major drop is, uh, is fractured and chemically altered that has not been mobilized by heel slope or biodegradation process. So major drops are not eroded, they are in situ type things or where they produce, they deposit there. So due to production is a deposition moment, the weather drop one, so it is correct. Saprolite differs from weather drop in degree of alteration. So saprolite it is, uh, it is a weather and altered form of rock. So, igneous or metamorphic rock, which are the same as after alteration, they convert to a chemically weathered elaborate, they convert to saprolites. So, that is mostly saprolite that forms that, uh, but saprolite indicate that it is a deep weathering condition. Uh, deep weathering condition indicate that. So, saprolite indicates deep weathering condition. So, it is also correct. So, both the statement will be correct. How do aluvial river respond to base level changes? 
aggregation or potential deposition occur when base level rises when base level will rise then aggregation will occur and incision the erosion occurs when base level drops when base level drops then river will get more gradient there will be incision then incision occur when base level rises we can be incorrect <coughs> Then increase in sediment load when base level rises, decrease in sediment load when base level drops. Then decrease in sediment load when base level rises and decrease in sediment load when base level drops. See, either of the statement will be true. Aggregation of color at the base level, it is true. And either of the statement is true. If, in, if incision rate will be high, then uh, river can carry more load. Load means the paid load. How much sediment it can carry? How, volume, how much volume of sediment it can carry? Get a volume of sediment it carry for the set of sediment load. The sediment load is achieved. So basically the gradient is the sediment load of so incision. The base level drop of rise it is supposed to increase the gradient or decrease the gradient. So when base level rises, when gradient will increase, base level drop, gradient will decrease. So this should be true. And if uh, base level rises, then the uh, sediment load will increase. And uh, when base level drops, sediment load will decrease. This should also <coughs> true. The maximum size grain that can particular flow can entrain or carry it is called as vertical. So hydrogen in capacity is the maximum volume of a load the river can carry and competency is the largest size particle it can carry. So here maximum size it will be competence. Which of the following grain size Stokes law settling is not applicable? So Stokes law it is applicable up to you can say a grain size between 0 0.002 to 0 0.02 mm. 0 0.002 to 0 0.02 mm. Up to this much of size Stokes law is applicable. So 0 0.02 uh, mm. 0 0.0022 to 0 0.02 mm. 0 0.1. So it is. It is uh, applicable from 0 0.002 to 0 0.2 mm. 0 0.002 to 0 0.2 mm. Up to this much grain size and uh, Reynolds number of one. Up to Reynolds number one. So, for which of the following grain size Stokes law of settling is not applicable, it will be 0 0.2 mm. Which of the following condition is characteristic of graded river? So, graded river, it is uh, produced uh, when there is an erosive bank or non cohesive bank in such a way. So, the erosion of bed load is dominated more, more so, uh, the traction material or so, 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 saltating material will be more than that. Frequent fluctuation of flow is also a cause because, because of you know, bed load deposition, braided bar will produce and that will always fluctuate the flow. And that will be all of the above. So, answer will be D. In which of the following case will get deeper oceanic basin? So if you have faster spreading rate, then uh, so remember the volume of the water will function. Water volume constant ever. If the spreading rate will be more, the plate volume will increase. Plate area to increase. Much. So if the plate area will increase, then water volume will decrease. Okay. Uh, example neighbor about it. Suppose for a whatever container or container like this, you have uh, this much of water. So if you increase the area of the container, the water volume will water level will decrease. Because if you put the same amount of water in a larger container, then the then the sea level will decrease. So, <coughs> spreading rate will produce larger oceanic plate. 
क्वेश्चनिंग लेटर वॉल्यूम आदि का वो सो सी लेवल ड्रॉप है है ना देन ही फास्टर स्प्रेडिंग रेट है स्लो स्प्रेडिंग रेट है ना देन थोड़ा वॉल्यूम ऑफ वाटर विल बी सेम एंड थोड़ा जो तो ओशन और क्रॉस टाइम लेसर अमाउंट ऑफ प्रोड्यूस हो ची तो नो इट विल गेट डीपर so it will be slow spreading rate at bitter spring peaks so inner core is solid iron alloy it is correct even though inner core is hotter than the outer core but it is because of high pressure they are in solid form so both a and r are true r is the correct explanation of a which is the most abundant element in the crust obviously it is oxygen so since we moment a is defined by So when G is the shear modulus, A is the fault. It will be M equal to G into A into del W by displacement. It is the formula for seismic moment. So batholith, it is obviously very large into some more than hundred square kilometer. When you see hundred more than hundred square kilometer, it is always batholith. Then dike. <coughs> the vertically discordant intrusion of one composed of dolerite and frequently exists from. It will be this. And seal. A really extensive small intrusion in a seed-like form. The seal, the roof pendant. It is a contour of the body. You can say batholith in batholith. Isolated contour of our body. Roof pendant. The contour of surrounded by intrusive material when subsequent exposed by erosion. It is roof pendant. The answer will be one. The river crossing and actual thrusting and maintaining the continuity of its longitudinal profile is an example of this type of strength. It is a type of anti-slip system condition where the upliftment, rate of upliftment equal to rate of erosion. So in that condition, you can say it will be negative feedback. The negative feedback in a system when the system it will function to counteract the effect. So जहाँ भी तुम्हारे effect हो उसे वो counteract करो. That will be negative feedback. Just like if our disturbance will go somewhere along the course of the river, the disturbance will go, the river will maintain, or uh, you can say uh, it will do erosion to maintain its path. Okay, under certain conditions. Okay. Then positive feedback, you can take the example of. Uh, you can take the example of uh, sea cliff. You can take. So during sea cliff, uh, during sea cliff retreat, first of all, bloch will form, then the overhanging wall will form, then the sea cliff will break. Sea cliff will break first. So sea cliff break will happen. Where material deposit will be, it is again eroded by ocean. Then again ocean will start to erode. That is called as positive feedback. So positive feedback is more of one thing. Process that will amplify it. Right? Initial changes that amplify that. That is called adjustment to the negative feedback. So it will be negative feedback for this question. Then morphological thing will be cascading. Cascading it is a step-like formation. In a particular maximum annual distance of a river has a recurrence interval of ten years. It means chances of flood of this magnitude or greater will occur. In the maximum annual distance, which is due to रिकरेंस हो चुका है, एक एंड आपने हो चुकी टेन इयर्स इधर, तो ईच इयर इधर हमें चांस ऑफ टेन परसेंट ऑफ फ्लोरिंग, राइट? ईच इयर तुम्हारे चांस हो चुके थे, टेन परसेंट, टेन परसेंट, टेन परसेंट, टेन इयर पर है दैट इज़ हंड्रेड परसेंट, तो तुम्हें कोई वैकी सेटा कि मैक्सिमम हंड्रेड In this Danish model, landscape evolution of David regarded the landscape as evolving through progressive sequence of stages, each exhibiting characteristic landform. Mature, more youth, mature, old stage. Each stages are characterized by different landforms. So it is correct. Main consideration of peak model of uh, peak model of uh, landscape evolution was the continuous adjustment between force and resistance. No, in peak model, he he uh, proposed his model on the basis of The rate of upliftment and rate of erosion. So in one stage, rate of upliftment is greater than rate of erosion. In any cell stage, rate of upliftment is greater than rate of erosion. Then rate of upliftment is equal to rate of erosion. Then rate of upliftment is 
लेस देन रेट ऑफ रिकवरी अकॉर्डिंगली ही प्रपोज इज थ्योरी तो स्टेटमेंट वन इज करेक्ट और स्टेटमेंट टू इज इनकरेक्ट तो फर्स्ट वी सी व्हाट इज पीच प्लंज दिस डायग्राम So peach and plunge they are defined uh, for a line. So any <coughs> angle between a line and a horizontal line or strike line. This is peach. This is peach. So the angle between a horizontal line and an incline on a plane it is called as a peach. So this peach it is defined for a line and the angle between The horizontal projection of the line measured on a vertical plane, it is called as a plunge. Plunge is similar to apparently or rooted. So pitch and plunge. So pitch, it is the angle between a linear element that lies on a given plane and the strike of the plane will be correct. Plunge. It is the angle of linear element with the surface in an imaginary vertical plane. It is correct. Then collision. It is a general term for surface that occurs repeatedly in a rock body. So collision is you can say planar fabric arrangement within a rock, plate or flexible arrangement within a rock with some cohesion. So cohesion is also an important characteristic for collision. There must be cohesion in between planar fabrics. Then strike. It is the intersection of of inclined plane with a imaginary horizontal plane it will be one when do drag pole forms so drag pole forms when incompetent bed is the sandwich between two competent bed if a incompetent bed it is sandwich between two competent bed and due to shearing the drag pole would form in the incompetent bed during due to shearing the drag pole would form in the incompetent So when competent bed slide past an incompetent bed, this is the correct option. Joints are often evenly spaced. Obviously, they are often evenly spaced. So they are formed by you can say tensile. Suppose we say this is a joint. It is formed by tensile stress like this. So the spacing it depend upon the. the it is depend upon the tensile stress, but it depend upon the effect of tensile stress. कि इटू कितने बार पढ़ना तो हमारा टेंशन स्ट्रेस का इफेक्ट रहे रोज जैसे आज का इफेक्ट आ रहा है बस मोर द इफेक्ट ऑफ टेंशन स्ट्रेस फ्रॉम द जॉइंट द मोर विल बी द स्पेसिंग सो द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ जॉइंट्स रिलीव्स द टेंशन स्ट्रेस फॉर ए क्रिटिकल डिस्टेंस आफ्टर फॉर्मेशन एट सम क्रिटिकल डिस्टेंस द टेंशन स्ट्रेस ग्रेजुअली डिक्रीजेस सो दैट विल डिटरमाइन द वेट ऑफ द द स्पेस ऑफ द जॉइंट सो Both A and R are true, and R is the correct explanation of A. So, according to Anderson theory, according to Anderson theory, the sigma one is always vertical. Normal fault is sigma one vertical. Strike speed fault is sigma two vertical. Strike uh, reverse fault is sigma three vertical. So, it will be sigma two and sigma three are horizontal. Sigma one is vertical for normal case, normal fault case. Remember in conjugate factor, normal fault generally expressed in conjugate factor. Okay, so the faulting or fracture criteria. Always remember the stress or the, the you can say tensile stress axis that uh, uh, along the acute angle of the fracture is sigma one. That is along the obtuse angle that is sigma three. That is parallel to the fracture plane that is sigma two. Sigma one always bisects the acute angle between the conjugate fracture. Sigma three bisects the obtuse angle between the conjugate fracture, and sigma two always parallel to the fracture plane. In any fault, you can see sigma two is always parallel to the fault plane. Sigma three it will bisect the obtuse angle. So I write the fault in the given diagram. So obviously, it is a strike slip fault. It is shown here. But uh, we cannot determine whether it is a sinistral or dextral. And if you got a two plus, or say, 
control of tire you may be it to jai thai pare it may be displaced from here or otherwise in other case you can say ki this part also is displaced to here so it is inconclusive here ki whether it is a strike slip fault or reverse fault strike slip fault or uh, but uh, sorry it was initial or distal fault that maps place the rocks in their position position before folding and thrusting it is a type of we can say planish plastic map which is under paleo geographic reconstruction you can say so it is a type of uh, map which uh, assume position before the folding of folding and thrusting the maximum deep of a bed is measured 20 degree in the relation of north 30 degree west so north 30 degree west so it will be north 30 degree west north 30 degree west so strike will be either towards this direction or towards this direction so if this is 30 degree then this will be 60 degree that is north 60 degree east or south 60 degree east so option is not given here there is only answer will be north 60 degree east so option is not North to South. When I just established, it is 15 August 1969. Which of the following is not a image classification technique? It is V-stripping. V-stripping. It is not a image classification technique. Which of the following is not a field-based vector model? So lattice model. Lattice model is a vector model. Vector is from map or representation model. Raster data, vector data. अच्छी मैप को रिप्रेजेंट करेगा तो कौन से थिंग को तुम्हें पॉइंट रिप्रेजेंट करियो लाइन दे रिप्रेजेंट करियो है ना एरिया रे रिप्रेजेंट करियो तो सेशो थिंग टाइम तो ये गोटे रोड अछि तक लाइन दे रिप्रेजेंट है ना गोटे पोल अछि तक पॉइंट रिप्रेजेंट है एकदम मॉडर्न था है ना वेक्टर रास्टर मॉडल लाछी छ तोरा सो लैटिस मॉडल इज अ वेक्टर मॉडल टी नो छि तुम्हारा ट्रायंगुलेटर इरेगुलर नेटवर्क दैट इज आल्सो अ वेक्टर मॉडल DEM OC it is a digital elevation model it is not a vector model digital elevation the vector model and high so line model it is also a vector model so DEM it is not a vector model antidus form is in dash region it is upper flow region so, uh, after your upper plane bed with further increase in velocity antidus form This migrates to attitude forms migrates opposite to the direction of current flow. Two direction current flow करे तार bed form तार opposite direction migrate करे तो attitude को and attitude also in phase with the flow. This is the end of the question.